Hey, Danny, and welcome to my vlog. Today we're back in the Project Stang. Today I'm going to install the clutch cable, which entails going under the driver's side dash and releasing the clutch assembly under there so it'll release enough clutch cable to hook up to the clutch um, fulcrum arm and then from that point you go back under the clutch uh, under the dash and then you push on the clutch pedal and it'll adjust itself all right well come to find out the local parts store does not carry them. I've been on the internet and the ones I see, they've gotten rid of that plastic um, paw. It's now a half moon and the cable attaches to one end and then wraps around as you push the pedal down. It no longer has that plastic adjuster. It's a manual adjustment. Yeah, you, can't, you really can't see in this picture but there's teeth all up here. And then you've got your little paw on the back that has teeth in the opposite direction. So as it's pushing, the spring is pushing it down, it's inter engaging in those teeth. Well, my teeth right down here, the top of my fingernail is gone. They're all worn out. So of course when this is pushing down, there's nothing for it to grab. Well, it's grabbing and then letting go. So, what they've done is they've gotten rid of this thing here, the, the paw, and they've gotten rid of the, the half moon here with teeth. It's just an open cradle that your, uh, when your cable hooks to here, well, there it is right there. You can barely see it. Hooks to there, it goes right over the top all the way. And then your adjuster is in the firewall. That's the way they've done it. So that's where I'm at. I'm out of I'm out of luck till uh, I get a new one for the clutch anyway. So somehow secure it permanently to the quadrant and let it it'll rotate. So what I did is I got a self-tapping screw. Okay, and what I did. As I put a self-tapping screw up through there. First I took a smaller smaller drill and drilled it up there so I made sure it was in line. And I put a self-tapping screw up in there. And now it's secured to that paw. And then the paw is secured to the quadrant. Ouch. Why aren't you? It is not fun. Being on your back under there, it's just not. It's not going to be fun when i got to replace it. So temporarily for now, I have full pedal. It feels pretty good. So that takes care of that. That was a, that's a quick. So for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and put the our little cover on here. Let me keep it in. Keep everything clean. It goes up in this slime flux in that little Start. Okay, it's gonna come. It simply locks in. Slide it up. Locks in under that. You got a little 10 millimeter screw. <laughs> no, I'm not a 10 millimeter screw. How about a 3 8? <laughs> Pain in my ass. Hey. I 
do have that nice. All right. Well, we'll see how see how long that lasts. Um, I tried to use hose clamps to secure that paw down on that fulcrum. They call it a quadrant. So what I did, I tried to use a again. I tried to use um, hose clamps to tighten that paw down to lock on that quadrant. Well, unfortunately, that's the flax, and uh, it didn't work so well. That was a, just a quick, quick fix. I thought of off the top of my head. It doesn't. It doesn't matter because of the fact that you know uh, I'm going to change it anyway. But for right now, um, it's it's the best way I could figure to make sure the clutch was functional while I'm getting this ready for the road. Um, the other thing is you've got to make sure that it's free to go back and forth because you've got a switch back there and if you've got to push the clutch in to start the motor. So you got to make sure there's nothing nothing uh, uh, keeping that from happening or you're not going to start the vehicle. So um, again, that the... the uh, I was gonna, like I said, I was gonna use the hose clamps on it. I tried it several times, and it just won't hold that paw in place. And it also gets in, it also gets in, uh, gets in the way of that, that switch. So I figured, well, what the heck? I'll go ahead and put a self-tap screw up through there. If you want, you can drill it out bigger and put a bolt in there. Um, I was preparing to have to do that, but it seems like it's holding the way it is right now. So, all right, thanks again for dropping by. Don't forget to comment, especially if you've had this problem. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to change that quadrant. That's my next, gonna be one of my projects down the road here. That's the, that's the bad thing about having a, a stick shift. You got to deal with your clutch. You got to deal with the cable. You got to deal with uh, the quadrant. So, uh, and I think the main issue with that is it had a racing clutch. Um, not like you know a 35 pound clutch it has 75 pound clutch so of course you're, you're putting a lot of strain on that quadrant anyway don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next project staying <laughs>